Hey everyone, welcome back to the Summer Pie series and in this video we're going to discuss how to optimize a generative adversarial network. As we went over in the last video, these networks are composed of two different neural networks. So how do you optimize this? It's not as intuitive as it was before. So here we have this function that describes the goal of the GAN and how to optimize it. It's pretty crazy looking, but let's go through it together. At this point, I think it's important to understand how to read equations like this, so that you're able to share any new ideas that you might come up with, or even just to read upcoming papers in deep learning and stay up to date. It doesn't require you to know much math at all, it's all about comprehension. First, let's go over the symbols and various expressions. V is the value function, dependent on our two networks. E is the expectation, just think the expected value. X of P data means a sample X taken from the set of real data. And then we also went over how the log function is a powerful way to measure error. D of X is what the discriminator predicts on the real samples. Z of PZ means a sample Z taken from the set of latent vectors. G of Z is using the generator to generate a fake image using the sample Z. Then D of G of Z is what the discriminator predicts on the generated image. The goal of the discriminator is to maximize the value function V. While of course for the discriminator we want it to be able to correctly identify the real samples to give them a value of 1. We also wanted to identify the fake samples, giving those a value of 0. The goal of the generator is the opposite. It needs to produce images that are so good that the discriminator is unable to tell which ones are real and fake. Since the generator wants to make it difficult for the discriminator to do its job, we aim to minimize the value function. This means that when measuring the generator's performance, we want the discriminator to think that the real images are fake, giving them a score of zero. It also wants the discriminator to think that fake images are real, giving them a score of one. In theory, this works, but in reality, no one ever really starts to question the authenticity of real goods, bags, shoes, money, and whatever. They only focus on how realistic the counterfeits are. In terms of optimizing the generator, we can consider a simpler expression. We maximize the slightly modified value function. It simply means that to optimize the generator, we want the discriminator to think that the fake images are real, giving them a score of one. It is just converted from a minimization problem to a maximization problem. You'll see why this is more convenient when we start programming it. It has been noted that it helps with the gradients early on in the learning process. And that's the loss function explained, originally provided by Ian Goodfellow et al. in their groundbreaking GAN paper. I hope that after watching this video, you become more confident with comprehending its mathematical expressions that you may come across in all kinds of research. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. In the next one, we'll implement this optimization strategy and train our GANs. So I hope to see you there. Peace.